welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a great day and everything is going well. Wanted to share a collaborative haul with you all. Um, I did get some things from the Sephora Savings event um, as well as products from different um, or other places. So I did want to share that with you all. And um, I do have some items that I'm waiting on from Juvia's Place, which is the Somalia um, foundation which is supposed to be um, my shade match from them and then I ordered a regular size concealer for one of the minis that I have and then I did also purchase two items from Makeup Revolution I think a palette and a matte primer so those will not be um, included in today's video so I'm just going to pull the items in the order that they're in my basket <laughs> And then um, I'll go over where I got them from and things like that. So the first thing is the Revolution Makeup Ultra Blush Golden Soul Palette. This was purchased from Ulta and it looks like this. I think this was $5.99. Um, I have the Morphe Cabernet Blush Palette, which was also purchased from Ulta. And this is another one of their nine pan palettes. There was a 36 or 32 pan palette that came out with this collection. I just didn't purchase that. I normally don't get the larger palettes. I like the nine pan palette. This is a United Peachy Nudes palette from Rude Cosmetics. I purchased this from TJ Maxx. It was $9.99. It does come with a mirror. And these are the actual shades. Now, if you would like to see swatches of any of the palettes that will be discussed in this video, you can leave me um, a request in the comments down below. I purchased two palettes from the C Color brand. This is one of the companies that makes um, dupes for Natasha Denona. Um, I think they make um, dupes for Urban Decay and also other one huddle beauty so this is the auburn palette that's the packaging it comes with a mirror you get some matte shades and about six no four shimmers no five because this is a shimmer right here too and so this would be a good everyday neutral palette and i think that was ten dollars this is their Milky Way palette, which I am certain is a dupe from one of the Huda Beauty palettes. There's not a mirror with this compact. The packaging is pretty light with this, um, but these colors look like they may be a little bit pigmented, so that works out great for me. And they even have some of the, or tried to mimic some of the actual shades that are in um, Huda Beauty's palette. So I am interested to try that. I did get um, the Carnival palette from Clarity Cosmetics. That's the packaging. It was on sale for $10. And that's how it looks. I do want some of some more palettes from Clarity. And I also have some items on my wish list from Give Me Glow. Now, I did try to purchase another palette from Alter Ego, which also makes dupes. This is their Canyon palette. I was very unhappy um, about the appearance of this palette. I haven't used it yet. When I opened it, you could tell that the palette had been um, dropped. And so this is how <laughs> it looks. I haven't really used it yet, and it was too late for me to try to return it for a replacement. So... I am stuck with this palette. I ordered the um, Fiery palette from Beauty Bay. This is the 16 pan palette. And this is how it looks. And this was on sale for $7. I also picked up the Nikki Tutorials collab with them. It was on sale for $5.90 if I'm not mistaken. And let's see if I can show it without showing the mirrors. This is how this palette looks. Let's see. I 
picked up the Revolution Contour Powder Compact from Ulta. And this is the replacement because the first item came um, to me damaged as well. Okay, if I can get it out. And I think this was actually on sale for about two or three dollars. And it comes with um, contour, bronzer, and a highlight. And this is um, the deep one. So I think there's a light, medium, dark, and deep. What else? Don't have any other palettes. No other palettes. Um, so I purchased a couple of items from the beauty supply store. I got some more of the Nika K um, Blush Duos. This one is the number zero, zero, no, number 11. And this one is zero 05. I don't, I hope I picked up the right ones. Um, I know that the, the previous one is definitely the newer one, but I'm not sure about this one because I had actually put these away and had to pull them back out. Um, I got the Pro Bronzer in Dark from Absolute New York. Looks like that. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. I already have the shades Always Peachy and Always Preppy. This is Always Punchy. And this was purchased from TJ Maxx for... I think it was about $2.99. Let's see if it's going to show. It's a little bit darker than that, but so far, that's how it shows on camera. Um, then I also purchased the Ultra Precise Eyebrow from the Magic Collection. This is in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I actually used this for my brows today. And it comes with a spoolie, like any other brow product, but it's really slim. And um, I do like um, the effect and the color um, shade on my skin. And this was $2.99. I purchased some items from Shop Miss A, which is a website that um, sells um, various uh, beauty products. Most of them are a dollar. Um, there are some that may be a little bit more, but for the most part, they're a dollar. Um, this is the Amuse Cosmetics Blush in the shade Antique Bronze. And this was one dollar. Depending on how this shows on my skin, it may be a bronzer for me. And then this is a shimmer bronzer from the Giobi brand. But this came from Shop Miss A as well. See what else I have. I ordered some of their mini um, powder puffs. I got two of those. And some of their blotting sheets. I ordered three packets of that. I'm trying out a new style of their lashes. I normally get Crystal or Terry. This is in the style London, so these are a little bit more dramatic, and they were $188. The ones I normally purchase are $155. Um, I have some Jacqueline products that I purchased from TJ Maxx. The first one is a lip lacquer in the shade Cider, and these were $5.99. I also have a lip lacquer in Gumdrop, and it's a little bit darker. And then I purchased one of their lip liners for $4.99. And I think the shade for it is Stocking, and it is the color of the end of the pencil. And what else, what else, what else? Um, I purchased a couple of items from Dollar Tree. This is the LA Colors Auto Liner. The shade name for this is Eclipse. 
Um, I like their um, auto eyeliners because they're soft and I don't have to do a lot to um, get the color to go on, on my skin. So this is how this looks. And then this is a repurchase. This is the Wet n Wild um, eyeliner. I use it to line my lips as well. The shade is Simmer Brown now. Uh, this is also a wet and wild retractable brow pencil. I purchased this from Walmart. This is in the shade medium brown. I've been playing with retra retractable um, pencils, but I'm not sure if I like them, especially if they're thin because they break really easily and you can't sharpen it. Like once it's gone, it's gone. So I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? I picked up a Rimmel Radiance Brick from Walmart, and when I got it home, it was a little bit lighter than I thought that it was, so I'm not sure yet how I will be using this or if I can actually use it on my skin tone. So right now, it's just in the, in the basket. Um, I did purchase this About Face um, Fluid Eye Paint. It's a matte black color. They were having an actual sale. So I like the way that this feels on my skin. Um, I like how matte it is. So I think I'm going to pick up some more shades of this if they have them on sale. I picked up a lot of items from e.l.f. The first one is the Bite Size Eyeshadow. And the shade of this palette is Cream and Sugar. Or name of the palette, I guess I should say. And then I have the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner in black. This is the e.l.f. Brow Lift Applicator. It has a spatula on one end and the spoolie on the other end. Let's see. This is the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain. The shade name is Pinkies Up. I have the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Espresso. And this is their Brow Lift. Let me try that out. And then finally, the few items that I purchased from the Sephora Savings Event. Um, I didn't really see anything on there that I don't have already. I did have, like the beginning of the year, I had a wish list of things that I wanted from Sephora, but I got them. I'm doing the sale that they had in the spring. So there were only a, fruit, a few Sephora products that I wanted to try and they were 30% off. I did get the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. It says 16 hour wear, transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. This is 2.7 fluid ounces. So I'll have to do a follow up and let you all know how I like this. I also purchased their translucent setting powder, um, lightweight translucent loose powder, and the shade is universal, as if I need any more powders, right? And then the last thing that I got is their lip pencil. Um, it's a gel lip liner, and the shade is molasses, and this is a pencil that stays out of stock. So um, I was lucky to be able to get this, so I definitely scooped it up. And that is all that I have. I received some samples. I think I got a sample of one size secure the blur secure the blur primer. And then I got a sample for the HD um, skin foundation from Makeup Forever. And I think that is. I think that's it. Um, I purchased some wipes from Dollar Tree. They have uh, scented ones that are like watermelon, mango. I purchased about four of those. I have um, some wipes from Nivea and some Orla Volet, I think, wipes that I have. But that is it. That's all that I have for you all today. If you have any questions, if you want to see anything 
just watched or if you want me to do a wear test on anything, please let me know in the comments down below. Remember to turn on your post notifications so that you will be aware when I am posting something new. Um, and also, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope that you all stay blessed. Bye-bye.